thank you so much for chatting today. Oh, no, our pleasure. The whole conceit of this film is, you know, Spidey's dilemma. And I have to ask, if the two of you could erase one thing that you'd done from the collective memories of planet Earth, what would it be and why? I love that people ask us that question yeah. like we're going to tell you. <laughs> like, if I wanted to erase something, I'm not do you really think you I'm that stupid? I'm not telling you that. I mean, it is a good question. It is. But the thing a- is, is... um. <laughs> I don't want people to go look it up. Yeah. You know? Yeah, sure. No, that's not publicized. You don't want to be quoted. That's, yeah. yeah, that's completely fine. <laughs> but look, I mean, look, Peter basically blows open the multiverse like a, like a shame filled pinata right. and <laughs> reveals the fact that there's all these other kind of, there's all these other like, you know, iterations of him out there. Um, so I got to ask the two of you, you're both very, very talented people. Um, Thank you. If there was, oh, you, I mean, you know, it's true, right? Like, don't, don't act modest. It's okay. Um, but if there was a multiverse out there, what are the other Tom and Zendaya doing right now? Was it always acting that you were going to do? Was it always, you know, what you're doing now? Or were there some kind of strange career cul-de-sacs that you almost went down? Hmm. I don't know. I probably would have been a carpenter or a teacher or something. I don't know. I, I know that if I wasn't <laughs> an actor in this life, that's what I would be doing. Mm-hmm. So maybe yeah. in another life, that's what my... Tom would be doing. Yeah. Yeah, the same. I've always said I would, I would, both my parents are teachers, so I've always said I would have been a teacher if I didn't do this for a living. I mean, the other Tom's, I don't know, maybe there's, you know, another universe and maybe they're also in Spider-Man. They're just in a, in a different version. You know? I wonder how, like, if we never played Spider-Man and MJ, we were never act as how, if we would ever have met. Maybe it just stayed fly, wasn't it? Like you were, Spider-Man is based off of a fly. Is it? He didn't. He see oh, yeah, a fly. He is based off of a fly. So maybe yeah. it would be Flyman and Flyman. We're on a press tour for Flyman. JM. Yeah. Jane Mary. Jane Mary. Jim. Flyman. I'll be honest. It's, it's kind of it's catchy. I think. She yeah. Does. <laughs> uh, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like some like like I don't know like '90s hip hop. <laughs> like Fly Flyman fly and, and JM. Oh <laughs> no. Some DJs. I just, but there is something about like the kind of pairing of Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson that is so like appealing on every level. I mean, what was your first encounter with these characters? I mean, did you grow up with Spidey or was this something you came into later in life? Oh, mate, like, I was I was a massive, massive Spider-Man fan as a kid. You know, the to- Toby's movies and then Andrew's movies. I think Andrew's mm-hmm. movies partic- in particular, like, I remember seeing The Amazing Spider-Man 1 in the cinemas in Wales, actually, and I just was obsessed with it. Immediately, he was my favourite superhero. So I actually said in an interview years before I got cast that I'd love to play Spider-Man after Andrew Garfield. So <laughs> it was a huge part of my life growing up. So to be here today is is crazy. It's awesome. And what about Kirsten Dunst's um, Mary Jane Watson? I mean, did you ever want to hang upside down and get that? Because the <laughs> physics of that kiss are a nightmare. But, like, did you... Did you watch that and think one day that's gonna happen to me? <laughs> it's, it's funny because I think as a as a as a little kid, I I was um was a bit of a tomboy myself, so I probably was pretending to be Spider Man more often nice. than than not. But yeah, I mean, the all those movies have think have been a part of my childhood. I I had my uh, my first date ever when I was sixteen was at um andrews yeah. spider-man so it's like they're, they're all a part of uh a part of my growing up and my idea of who and what spider-man is to me you know so it, right. it, the idea that you're like fighting their villains is still crazy to me like because as a kid i was scared of them you know what i mean yeah. so it's like now here they are in the flesh and, and they're so just, nice and they're so lovely yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you feel a sense of like, and I'm precious the wrong word, but like, do you feel a sense of responsibility carrying these characters that have been around for so long? Or is it just pretty chill over there on the studio? No, it's pretty, it's, I mean, there's a lot of pressure, but I think we've learned how to deal with it where it's not, you know, overwhelming. Yeah. You know, when you're making these films and there's such high expectations, especially when you're making films and the fans are coming up with theories that are sometimes better than the film you're making. <laughs> you know, you're then having to show the studio, like someone said this, we should totally do this. This is a really good idea. Um, yeah, there's a lot of pressure because, you know, people really live for these movies. They love these kind of movies. This MCU universe that's been created brings a lot of joy to people. So, you know, we want to make sure that we do justice to this universe and make the best film possible. But 
you know, we have each other. We have Jacob, John Watts, our director, is a fantastic leader. So, you know, we're pretty well supported. Do you find it weird that Pete and MJ are kind of going through something similar to what you're going through now? I mean, like everyone suddenly wants in on their lives. There's cameras on them. Like people are following their personal lives pretty aggressively. You, you, you guys are very, very good actors. Like <laughs> embarrassing. You. Like my, my, my teeth hurt when I watch you. You're great. And I think... How are you kind of processing that kind of juxtaposition between we want to do our jobs and also people won't stop kind of taking photos of us because that's kind of what your characters are going through in the film as well. Ironically, um, when we were shooting the second movie yeah. and we were in New York, um, <laughs> it actually was like a, 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 I don't know, like a showing us what was to come for sure. Peter and MJ. But we're, when we were shooting in New York, you can't lock down the street. So everyone can just like, if somebody wants to literally in the middle of the take come up to you and just like record you, they can because it's like public space. So there was a lot of that. <laughs> and there was like also just like literally like a, a sea of paparazzi people right next to the camera as we were shooting. There was literally someone underneath the camera. Yeah with a massive cam of camera of their own <laughs> while we were shooting. So we're trying to have a scene. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <you're t> <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you, you, yeah, you essentially have to do a take for them. Yeah. Don't you? And anytime he would do any type of like, you know, cool Spider-Man thing, it would be like, he right. would do a flip and it'd be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You would hear all the sounds and stuff. Um, <laughs> so that, you know, was, is pretty much literally what happens. Like, in I guess movie, in the, guess. in the course of the movie, yeah. like, five seconds later when his identity is, is revealed. So um, yeah, we, we have a similar experience. Sometimes we've had, we've had moments where um, we can definitely empathize with what they're going through, but you know, thankfully we're not, you know, on the hook for murder. So right. that's always good. Yeah. I Okay, yes. and you can't shoot me <laughs> goof from your wrists and swing around. So presumably, um, I'm being told to leave because we're out of time. But can I just say thank you so much for chatting thank with you me so today? Much. It's been an absolute pleasure. That was really thank fun. You. Thank you.